Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a ChatGPT powered assistant called Merlin. This comes as a browser extension which you can use both for Firefox and Chrome. I'll provide the links in the description. I'm going to ask three different kinds of questions and see how it responds to me. The first question is what kind of supplements I need to increase bone density, which is a pretty standard question. The second question is, is ChatGPT and AI a threat to my corporate job as an accountant? This is actually a question asked in Quora by someone, and I want to see how Merlin answers this question for me to respond on Quora. And the third question is, what's an ethical way to conduct a layoff? So there's a lot of tech layoffs going on right now, and it's affecting people's lives. This question is slightly different because there's a human aspect involved in this. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. So if you get some value from this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's do this. The first step is to go on the link provided in the description and add the browser extension to your browser. For this example, I'm personally using Firefox. But for Chrome, you just go to this link and click Add to Chrome and it's going to add the extension to your browser. After it's added, it's going to show up in your list of browser extensions right there. I wanted to mention that in their free version, you're allowed to make 15 queries a day. There are two ways to use Merlin. The first one is to use Command Q and ask any question right there. The second one is to use directly on the Google search result page. So when you type anything, Merlin shows up right there. So for each of these questions, I'm going to use ChatGPT directly first and then use Merlin to see if the responses vary. All right, let's start the first question. What kind of supplements do I need to increase bone density? It's telling me calcium and vitamin D are essential for maintaining strong bones. I also might need magnesium, vitamin K2 and boron. It also tells me a couple of lifestyle changes such as weight training, avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol. Now I'm going to try the same query on Merlin. So I'm going to on, now I'm going to try the same query on Merlin. So I'm going to use command Q and type the same question. The response seems similar with calcium and vitamin D are the most important supplements. The other ones include magnesium, omega-3, strontium and vitamin K2. It does chop off the part where ChatGPT suggested lifestyle changes. All right, let's try the second question. Is ChatGPT and AI a threat to my corporate job as an accountant? It's telling me AI and chatbots can automate certain tasks, but are not yet advanced to fully replace the expertise and judgment of a trained accountant. For now, it is still crucial for accountants to possess a combination of technical knowledge and soft skills such as communication, problem solving, and critical thinking. Let's try the same query, but using Merlin. This time I'm gonna use Google search and use the add-on here. Okay, so Merlin actually provides me a definitive answer and says no, ChatGPT and AI are not a threat to your job as an accountant. While these technologies are becoming sophisticated and have the potential to replace human labor, they are not yet able to replace the expertise and experience of a trained accountant. So the response is similar, but I think Merlin is adding another layer to it and studying the AI response from ChatGPT and giving a more decisive answer. So this is something I can post in a forum because it sounds more like an opinion versus a more generic answer. I've noticed ChatGPT does not want to take stances and it wants to provide generic responses. So I do like Merlin better here because it provides a definitive answer. I can actually use this answer and reply to Quora right here. Just as a disclaimer, I'm going to mention that this is generated by Merlin and I can add my comment right there. All right, let's try the third question. What's an ethical way to conduct a layoff? So there has been a lot of tech layoffs going on recently. And if you see LinkedIn, there's a lot of people um, asking for help. There's a lot of people posting that they're open to work. And there has been a lot of discussions going on about how companies are conducting these layoffs. So I do think this is a relevant question in the current market. I'm gonna first see what kind of response ChatGPT provides me. So the responses I got are be transparent, clearly communicate the reasons of the layoff, treat employees with dignity and respect, 
provide adequate notice, consider alternatives such as reducing hours or salaries, and follow all the legal requirements. I'm going to now use Merlin for this using command Q. All right, so I think Merlin picks out the relevant parts of the ChatGPT response and provide me a more definitive answer. Since my question is focused on the ethical part, it picks out specific parts of the response, such as adequate warning to employees, allow them to ask questions and provide severance packages. It ignores the parts which are not related to ethics. For example, following all the legal requirements are not something that's going to affect the employee. That's more on the employer side. And considering alternatives is where they don't conduct layoffs and reduce hours or salaries. Both of these, while important to the employer, are not really related to the ethics part on how it's going to affect the employee. So I do think Merlin does a better job at picking out parts from the ChatGPT response which are relevant to your, to your query and gives you a more human answer. Uh, I think ChatGPT still answers like a machine. So it, you have a question and it gives you a detailed sort of generic response and Merlin is picking out the response, making it more relevant to your query. So I do think it's a really good browser extension and it was featured on Product Hunt for a reason. Be aware of its current limitation if you want to use the free version. It only allows 15 free queries a day. Also, just like ChatGPT gets overloaded with queries due to a ton of people trying it out, I have noticed Merlin behaves similarly and it does require you to reload the extension a few times. I highly recommend you install Merlin yourself and try it out and see if this is something you would use. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, thank you so much.